Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Joy Ochejim and these are the headlines we're tracking at the moment. 14 people have lost their lives while 13 others sustained varying degrees of injury in an accident at Aloma community in Nofu local government area of Kogi State. The accident which occurred on Sunday involved a Toyota Sienna bus heading towards Abuja from Port Harcourt and a Toyota, Toyota Hires bus heading to the southern part of the country. Eyewitnesses said the accident occurred when two commercial Toyota buses had a head-on collision. And a raging fire, uh, rainstorm on Sunday wrecked havoc at Shango Ota in the Adodo Ota area of Ogun State, plunging over 40 communities into darkness. The storm pulled down electric poles and cables, disrupting traffic on the Shango Ota Highway on Sunday afternoon. The Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company confirmed the incident, appealing to residents to avoid contact with the broken poles and cables. And the Nigerian Labour Congress on Sunday gave a strong indication that it would press for the inclusion of a clause which would prescribe sanctions for governors and local government administrators who fail to implement the new minimum wage. The National Treasurer of the NLC, Hakim Ambila, who disclosed this to newsmen in Abuja, said the refusal of state governors to pay the current minimum wage was the result of a lack of punitive measures in the Minimum Wage Act of 2019. And troops of Operation Lake Sanity 3 under Operation Hadinkai have reportedly discovered an Islamic State West African Province terrorist bread production factory hidden within their den in Dambua local government area of Borno State. According to intelligence quoted by security analyst and counterinsurgency expert Sangazola Makama on Monday, the discovery came amidst a week-long clearance operation aimed at decimating the terrorists from the stronghold in the Timbuktu Triangle. And on business, the Securities and Exchange Commission has revealed that it has brought about 2.36 trillion naira in discretionary and non-discretionary funds under custody following updates to the guidelines for collective investment schemes in the country. Last December, the Commission proposed amendments that would address the complaints of players in the collective investment scheme segment of the capital market. And on the foreign scene, 11 people are missing following storms that battered southern China, state media said on Monday, with tens of thousands evacuated from the torrential downpours. Heavy rain has descended upon the vast southern province of Guangdong in recent days, swollen rivers and raising fears of severe flooding that state media said could be of the sort only seen once in a century. And finally, on sports, a 70-year-old from India will become the youngest player to challenge for the World Chess Championship crown after winning a major tournament in Canada. Gukesh Domaraja will face reigning champion Ding Liren from China for another piece of history after being the youngest player to win the prestigious candidates tournament. And that is on the newsroom at this hour. Join us again at the top of the hour for more stories. Bye for now.